Welcome back to today's video. Today we're gonna to be playing around with makeup. As you guys can tell, we're gonna be testing out a bunch of new makeup. I have some new makeup from ColourPop, some Too Faced makeup, I've got Hard Candy, I've got a bunch of other things in here that I wanna test out with you guys and give you guys my first impressions. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Stephanie. If you are a new follower, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. There's a little red button for you to just click on that. We're gonna go ahead and get into this. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. We're gonna start with our base and the very first thing I have is the Sheer Envy Glow Serum and Primer. Ooh, okay. This is not really the primer I was expecting. This is very glowy. Really only used about a half a pump and my skin is this glowy. So one of the newer foundations that I picked up was the L'Oreal True Match. I went ahead and I picked up this one in W3. Um, and then I also picked up this concealer by Revolution. This is the IRL Filter Finish in C4. This is a soft matte concealer. I might mix a little bit of my Stay Naked Foundation by Urban Decay. This is, I don't want this to be too glowy because I can already see myself not liking this. All right, let's go ahead and blend this out really quick. Times these L'Oreal foundations don't like my skin. And it, these are the only foundations I ever have issues where my foundation likes to break apart. I find it very, very strange. Ooh, I like this Doford applicator. It's kind of like got a little perch to it. Very thin in consistency. Again, it's got that really weird chemical scent that I don't like. Very lightweight. I can still see a little darkness here. So it doesn't say anything about coverage, but it does say that it's breathable, which leads me to believe that's just a little bit thinner. I do need to set the rest of my face. So I'm gonna go in with the 16 hour cover and last. This is the powder foundation from Essence. This was actually a product that I had tried to pick up quite a few times when I was in store and every time there was either shade was too light, too dark, I finally just gave up and picked up a shade. This is natural suede. I feel like the Consistency of this is very similar to the Pretty Fresh powder from ColourPop. So that one I really do like. It's a very light powder, um, not heavy at all. The face is still a little tacky, but it just set everything a little bit better. ColourPop sent over some of their bronzer, bronzers and blushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. They have these blushes called the Matte Bronzers. They have three shades that they sent over. I truly can only probably use this shade here. Um, so I'm gonna use the shade called Avila Beach. It's very light, but I kind of like it. I'm gonna go in and try the Summerlin Beach. It's just a little bit warmer. So let's see if this will add just a little bit more. I like this shade. I kind of like these shades blended together. I'm very unhappy with my eyebrows right now. They just are not really they're not doing it for me. I'm gonna be using the Kush Clear Brow Gel by Milk Makeup. I actually used this yesterday and I thought it was really good. ColourPop sent over some blushes. There's so many. The one that I did try out for the last couple days and I really did like is this bright, really bubblegum pink. And I've actually been using this like on the inner corner trying to do that like look with the blush, but I'm kind of feeling something a little bit brighter. So this one here is in the shade Staycation, very bright, like a magenta pink, or I have this more berry tone. This is in the shade New To You. Oh, this is beautiful. And this is in the shade Flamingo, and just kind of blend in the edges with it. Love, love, love this shade. They also did send over these highlighters. So this is in the shade Minted, which is a more of a like white gold. You have these two, which I don't think I'm, again, I'm gonna be able to use. I think Minted is more of what like I'm trying to achieve for this look. So we're gonna use this. We are gonna be using this. This is the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate palette. Um, very excited to try this out. I love all the Too Faced palettes. I think they're amazing. They can get a little redundant. I feel like sometimes they are very similar. Um, so really when you come down to like buying one of these, you just gotta go in and see which one you like and which one calls to you more. There's usually more like chocolatey browns and nudes in the palette and then just sometimes a few pops of color. Actually, I'm gonna take this shade right here called Bite Me. Oh yes, I can already tell. I'm gonna love this color right here. 
chocolate brown right here. I'm gonna start at the base of my eye and then just kind of work it, the outer corner. I'm gonna keep it more so on the outer corner than anything. This makes me wanna pull out all my other chocolate palettes. There's nothing like using a palette that you know is like good quality and that has like good rich colors to it and you don't have to worry about the colors not working. You could either use this shade or this shade. I wanna say that they're pretty much similar um, except that this one's a little bit warmer, but really I think it's just easier to stick right in this little quadrant. So let's go ahead and take this shade corner. You could definitely do like a little smoky eyeliner if this is deep enough for you. I, it's been a while since I've done anything really deep on the outer corner, so I'm gonna go full on out. Do you guys have like one eye that you guys really like, like, and then there's another eye that you don't? This is my favorite eye to work on. I hate working on this eye. I always feel it comes off really bad. I have this really white, glittery, pearly one. I'm not really super fond of right now. I'm digging between this one here. There's this one here. Ooh, that's pretty. There's this pearly white one. I really wish this was like a matte white. And then there's this like color here, which I'm not gonna use. Um, in a perfect world, this would be a matte white and then I'd have more of a frosted. This looks a little bit chunkier. I think I'm gonna go in with, I kinda like this shade right here. It's a little dark, that's okay. This is no extra product on the brush. Like the brush is not wet. This is just, just like this. <gasps> wow, it's been a while since I've done a pretty smoky, deep lower lash line. But I like mine to come down a little bit farther. I've always liked a little bit of a thicker lower lash line. I, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liner. Love this liner. I don't know why it's taking me so long to play around with this. I'm gonna do just a really good, nice winged liner. Can we talk about this packaging, you guys? Look at this beautiful YSL packaging. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's beautiful. This is the Lash Clash Mascara by YSL. It's gonna pop on some mascara before I apply my falsies. Too Faced came out with these Lip Injection Extreme Shapers. I'm gonna show you guys the shades because they're all beautiful brown shades, gives me a lot of 90s vibes. Maybe I'll do the puffy nude one just because I've got so much darkness, I kind of need to brighten it up a little. Oh, it's a clicker pen. Okay, this is like a little bit lighter than my lip shade. So this, this might be in the center. Let's go ahead, let me hold off on this because I feel like this might be a center. I might have to deepen up just a little bit. So let's go back into the, it's in Big Truffle. This might be the lip liner I need. Okay, let's clean. Ooh, what is that feeling? I think it's like a plumper. Oh, that feels weird. I don't even know how to explain it because it's not similar to the lip injection ones. It's very different because I'm using the lip liner. Let me use the um, lip injection to go with it. This is the Maximum Plump one. It's like this baby pink. Ooh, it's got like a little bit of a, definitely gonna tell you that the lip liner brings it to a whole other level because I'm not used to having the gloss like come to the edge and the fact that I kind of overline my lips really brings it out even more. Eyeshadow palette, beautiful, kind of knew that that was going to happen. My lips are burning, I can't get over that. My lips are burning. <laughs> Thank you guys all for watching today's video and I will see you guys all in my next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you soon, bye.